Hi, my name is Cindy Farr and I'm the Incident Commander for the Missoula City County Health Department's COVID-19 response. Today is Tuesday, August 11th, and this is my daily briefing. We've had 332 cumulative positive cases of COVID-19 in Missoula County to date. 328 of those cases were identified by testing and four were epi-linked. We've had 261 recoveries and one death. Two Missoula County residents and one out-of-county resident are currently hospitalized in Missoula County. And we've had 70 active we have 70 active COVID-19 cases with more than 330 close contacts at this time. Active cases and their known contacts are in quarantine and isolation and will continue being monitored and supported as needed. The state of Montana is reporting 5,104 cumulative COVID cases. There are 3,542 recoveries and 77 COVID-related deaths. There are now 1,485 active cases with 77 active hospitalizations across the state right now. COVID has now impacted 53 of Montana's 56 counties, meaning that COVID has hit about 95% of our state with varying degrees of intensity. Yellowstone and Bighorn County counties continue carrying the bulk of the new and cumulative cases. Yellowstone has nearly 600 active cases, while Big, Bighorn County has closer to 300 active cases. Other counties reporting more than 50 active cases at this time include Flathead, Missoula, Lewis and Clark, Cascade, and Phillips counties. Yesterday, we reported 92 active cases in Missoula County. Today, we're reporting 70 active cases. We had 22 patients move into recovery overnight. We've accurately captured the significant shift in active cases and recoveries on our local reporting, but the state reporting of these recoveries is a little bit delayed and is not accurately captured in the state's data dashboard this morning. We expect that discrepancy to diminish in the next day or two as the state closes cases on their end. Here in Missoula County, we continue seeing strong evidence of community transmission and exposure to known cases in our active cases. Of 70 active cases today, 44% are related to community spread, 40% are close contacts to a related to, that are related to a known case, 9% are travel related, and 7% still remain pending investigation. We continue seeing COVID-19 affecting young and middle-aged adults in Missoula County with nearly 56% of all active cases affecting people between the ages of 20 and 49 years of age. Increasing evidence of community spread coupled with this demographic data indicates that we really need to remain diligent with our safe behaviors and safe practices as more than one third of our cases are now coming from unknown sources. This means that COVID is in our community and we're now exposing folks outside of our normal social circles, outside of our personal and professional lives. So keep masking up for safety, reducing the chances of unknowingly exposing someone to COVID through either asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic spread. I'd like to jump into some more data and reporting information. We've now expanded how we report cases on our county website to improve understanding of COVID in our community. For instance, we now include the specific number of new cases since our last update. Today, the report indicates that we do not have any new cases since we reported yesterday as well as the number of county and non-county residents that are hospitalized in Missoula County. We also include three figures with each new update. These figures include transmission type, age information, and the trend of new cases over time. We continue providing epidemiological information on our county site too, including a page specifically dedicated to epi information. Typically, we update this information a couple of times a week after we receive new data and analysis from our partners at the University of Montana's School of Public and Community Health Sciences. If you're on our main landing page, you'll see a quick links on the right-hand side with the link for Missoula County epidemiological data, where you'll find the Missoula County COVID epi curve across time and COVID incidents by age, as well as reported symptoms and symptoms by age and things like numbers of close contacts per case, COVID infections by gender and hospitalization across time. When you review this epi information, please read the informational dialog box at the top of the page first, which includes information that helps understand the data and its limits, which is really important. All data has limits and this data is no exception. It is best practice to be transparent with those limits as we have been and will continue doing. So please check out that information to understand the limits of the data presented as well as the time and date range of the information presented. Typically the data captures information from the previous week through late March when COVID started affecting our community. We're currently working with the University of Montana and their stellar epi research to bring you an epi specific briefing in the next few weeks. 
While we can and will continue providing daily updates, this long form epi briefing will take us into a little bit deeper dive into the epi data, including what the data looks like, what it means, what its limits are, and how it informs why we, how, how we move forward safely. We'll also be able to discuss things like reproductive rates and positivity rates in more detail. These two data indicators help us to see how quickly the virus is transmitting from person to person, as well as how many people test positive compared to the total number of tests being conducted. Looking at county level data from March through last week, we can see that we had about 304 cumulative cases with about 13,634 tests. When we take the, the cases divided by the total number of tests conducted, we get a 2.2% positivity rate. This means that for about every 100 tests, about two people get infected, um, become symptomatic, and at some point in their infection where they tested positive for the time at the they where they tested positive at the time of their testing. I'm looking forward to sharing more data and analysis with you moving forward. Seeing trends, especially health-related trends, takes a lot of time, and COVID is no different. Now that we're several months into our response, we have enough data to see changes across time, as well as an average po positivity and reproductive rate. While I'm looking forward to providing this information more consistently, please remember that all data does have its limits. That doesn't diminish the value of the data, but it does inform how we view it and how we decide to use it for guiding our path forward. For instance, delayed test results would affect the data. By the time we received some of the de delayed results, some patients were already outside of their um, quarantine and isolation time. Therefore, cases like that would not show up in our active cases, even if their test result was positive, because by the time they received the result and by the time that the health department received the result, the patient would have already been out of their isolation time, which means you wouldn't see them as an active case, but they would fall into our cumulative total. We've been getting a lot of public comments asking for more epi information. I look forward to continuing to share that information with you more consistently as we continue addressing COVID-19 in Missoula County. So um, I also want to let everyone know that I will be out of the office for the next week, taking a little bit of vacation, trying to um, get a little bit of the end of summer before the kids are back in school and before the weather turns. Um, you may not be getting a briefing every day, but our information will definitely stay updated on the website. And I will talk to you all again next week. Um, as always, you can subscribe to me on YouTube under my name, Cindy Farr, that's C-I-N-D-Y-F-A-R-R. -R. Click the notification bell so you get notified when additional videos are uploaded. You can follow us on Facebook at the Missoula City County Health Department's Facebook page. You can check out our website at missoula.co slash cvirus. Remember to click that little epi link on the right-hand side of the page, and that'll take you to all the data that we've been talking about today and a little bit last week. Um, and you can call 258-INFO if you'd like to schedule a test if you're having symptoms and or if you just have want to have general information about COVID-19. So until next week, everybody, stay healthy.